Alright, how's it going guys? Today we're going to be restoring these headlights on my BMW 135i. As you can see, they are a bit foggy. They were a lot worse. I've already done this procedure once. Uh, this is going to be my second time, so I thought I would walk you guys through it. So I got this headline, headlight restoration kit from 3M from O'Reilly's. You can get this on Amazon. As long as it's the one with the sanding pads in it and the foam, just like this, the 3M one, it's really good. Uh, it just comes with these sand pads, as you can see. It comes with two for each or basically enough for one set of headlights so as you can see it'd be three yellow for one two white for the other one and then vice versa and you would just share the two foam pads all right so here we are uh we're gonna start off with this tan pad uh, that's the roughest hardest pad just to start removing all the bad stuff from here uh, i do have this water bottle thing because you are going to need a wet sand it uh, you could use like a hose or some other spray bottle, but I'm using this. Um, so yeah, we're just going to start sanding it down like this. And then if you have a drill, you're, you're going to have to have a drill. Make sure to put it on the lowest setting, which I did. So it spins pretty slow because the slower the better. All right, so here we are. What we're doing right here is we're spraying some water. We spray a little bit on the pad. And then all we do is flow. The slower the better, and then uh, we just wanted to do that. All right, so here we are. We just finished uh, doing it three times with uh, this. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Alright, so we did it three times. Uh, this is how it should look. Uh, you might be like, whoa, it looks uh, really bad. But now we're going to pass this one, which is a bit more finer. Uh, and it should look different. It should look less like this, but as you can see, that's how it looks. Alright, so after finishing passing this one right here, the 800 grit, we passed it a few times. You can see it's less blurry. I did it on the other one too, less blurry. So now the third step is to use this one right here, uh, the 3000. We're going to put it on, pass it a few times until it becomes even more clear, and yeah. Alright, so we just finished passing this foam one, as you can see, a lot more clear. This one too, a lot more clear. It still has a little bit of a haze, but this is a foam one. So the next one up is a sponge one. So the next one is a sponge one right here, with... Uh, this compound so as you can see that's how it looks now I mean honestly not that bad it's just a bit uh, still a bit foggy but I'm pretty sure it should clear out right now all right so the compounding is done with the compound thing but uh, and now this is how it looks finished product I just gotta wax it so I'm just gonna put some wax on it uh, that's how it looks clear uh, yeah so all I need left is some wax and we should be good all right so this is the finished product I put a little bit of this wax a little bit of wax it could be any wax and that's how it is it's pretty clear if you ask me this one is a little bit more hazy but um, so far so good Maybe a little bit more wax.